All right, everyone. How's everything going? We're gonna be doing a bit of a different video today. We're using two of everything. We're using high value products and high end products. Things like the Parasso in the previous video and Tabac, Simpson and this, I forgot the name, the name of this, but it's just a high value synthetic brush, Florida water cologne, aftershave versus Alt Innsbruck. And above the tie, H2 versus the Wishi. So it's going to be a bit of a different shape today. I'm going to be doing two latherins on my face at the same time. Let's get started so we don't waste too much else time. Just got to keep these things right. All right, Simpson to back. There it is. Let's get to going. I'm going to do about a 30 or 40 second load or try and get as quick of a load as I can. To not waste too much of time. As y'all can tell, just got off work a little bit ago. The Titans and Baltimore Ravens game is going on right now. All right, got about a 20 second load going. So those are tight bubbles. And some of these soaps, if the bubbles are loose and just freely flopping off there, just let them go. They're better off in the sink anyway. But the ones that are tight and looking stable are good to go. All right, about a 30, 40 second load. So right side, we're using the high-end products. And the left side, we're using the high value products and we're gonna compare and contrast the results after a two and a half three pass shave sorry about that y'all that was probably pretty loud all right Parasso and this ah synthetic all right there's one thing that annoys me about synthetic is that they fling stuff everywhere to me the hairs have a have a threshold at which they decide to uh, bend and flick back whereas the natural hairs really have more of a gradual motion and don't want to bing flick. All right so let's get as you can tell I just fling stuff to a jaw. All right. Now both of them are loading up quite nice but I will say Parasso loads up quick, and so does back for it to be a much harder soap. All right, so that's a good 30 second load. Let's get all this excess off here, put it over here. No, I've never done this double brush face lather nonsense, but we're gonna give it a go. Wet the tips and let's get to going. It's gonna be messy, I'm sure. <laughs> no doubt. Look at that. That's already done. Nice, moisturized, wet. It's a bit dry. Get a little bit more water. I'm surprised this knot holds on to so much water. Smooth it out. Lather difference. Minimal at best. Let's see. All right, so this side's got tobacco. 
nice slippery bit more of a cushiony feel both super slippery though all right so both the razors are going to get Paul Silver Blades. And they each get new ones as well. And these wax dots that are on these blades, they are, I won't say moderately annoying. Open this butterflies open. Drop it in. Look it up. All right, nice. You can see, already kind of slippery. Whereas this has a very good feel to it. It feels very solid in the hand. Yet again, another pulse over. Same wax dots. And y'all saw how the uh, Wishy razor works. The above the tie is very incredible machining work done. There's a very incredible machining work done. The small bit right there is what holds these in. It's very exact. So when we're talking high-end razors, these are machined to be perfect. And lock in, don't have to worry about blade reveal like you do with the Wishi razor. And they do have interchangeable handles. Got the Colossus, the Atlas, and a couple others. But, all right. Let's start off with this high end side, the bright side. Here we go. Incredibly smooth. So efficient. As efficiency and smoothness goes, this razor cannot be beat for me. Out of the ones I have, I could use this razor every day. One pass, one clean, back to the, and we're gonna go to the Wishy Razor. Right, clear it out right there with sideburns on. And a bit more of a, like a raspy type feel, but it is smooth. Maybe it's more of the vibration moving to the head that gives you that, that well, it gives me that feel. And I was saying that this razor feels incredibly heavy in comparison to my other vintage Gillette. This is not a vintage Gillette. I don't want to get that. Let's put that idea out there. So this is really comfortable. Not as efficient as the last one, but it's not about all that efficiency. It is incredibly comfortable. I got zero irritation from it the last time we used it. Look at that. All right. Let's compare both sides after the first pass. Just out. Remarkable difference in the amount of growth left. 
I mean, we're talking a very appreciable difference. But you're not trying to take it all off in the first pass. <clears throat> Should we do it twice the same time again? I think so. It was pretty ridiculous the first time. So as brushes go, this brush right here, there's Simpson Chubby 2 in, I think it's super, best, best badger. It is the brush that I compare all other brushes to. This is, to me, it sets an industry standard for quality of a badger brush. So comfortable. Another incredibly smooth pass. And that feels really good. Let's get to going. Pass number two, Leashy Razor. I'd say even after using this razor and paying probably, I think it was like $7 more than other Leashy Razors. I am incredibly impressed. With this razor, it is comfortable, efficient for how comfortable it feels. So like if you were to rank comfort and efficiency and put them together, Efficiency would be just a bit lower than comfortable. Whereas, to me, like the DE89 series and the 34 series through Merker, the efficiency is slightly higher for the same amount of comfortability. And that's what makes them such a good starter. Or right there. I feel like I'm neglecting that spot right there. Because it's too close to the middle. Don't want to be getting mixed results. Alright, so that's two passes. Let's uh, let the hands and see what we got. Okay, as normal, it is a bit of growth here because I kind of start pulling that angle back, but it doesn't feel uh, like there's any hair going this way, but you go up and it's there. Both sides. Okay, nice and smooth through here, which is difficult. This side's definitely more smooth on this spot right here. This hair is so thick and coarse, it is difficult to get to. And from here over, markedly more 
hair there. I'm gonna get them going against the grain, not across. You can't hear it. Well, I will say a bit more efficient, but the comfortability and efficiency over here, efficiency, eight or nine, comfortable, seven or eight. The vibrations of the Wishi razor when using it alongside something that's so stable like this stainless razor it's hefty there's not much vibration that moves through that it kind of loses a mark or two for me both these are really sustaining the moisture very well leather flying everywhere this does feel absolutely absurd if anyone else thinks it looks absurd <laughs> let me know if it looks as absurd as it feels and one half of my face is quite tingly from the menthol and the other half is not and the alt innsbruck has menthol in it which can be used on this side <laughs> the florida waters on this side does not so that's going to be interesting. All right, so I'm going to go against this way up here. Can't really feel anything. Okay, right there and here. Okay, so let's do that. Hear that? No. This incredibly smooth. Two passes in a cleanup. What's most impressive to me is this part right here. Impossible, absolutely impossible for me to get. So we're gonna go against the wall. I'm across the grain this way up here. Much better. Just different side. And we'll do a bit of J again. Cross the grain. It's absolutely incredible. This side is, is been gotten in two and a half essentially passes, and this side cannot. I just can't do it. You can hear the difference. Crazy. All right, well, I don't want irritation. Check the difference. contaminated the result the pickup Come on, man. no I will say I'm utterly impressed with both the uh, results are from here to here and here and in the neck same result right here where the, I can rarely get it unless it's the most efficient razor I have the Atlas H2 and the R41 post 2013 edition will not get that
<clears throat> you're talking that H2 is almost 10 times the price of the Wishi. How much of a difference is it? Now, if you take into account all of it, it is a much different experience. But if you're talking just pure based on results, less than 10% difference for 10 times the cost. I don't know. Be the judge. But I will say I utterly enjoy my experience with the Atlas H2 in this. <laughs> this will go on to many, many children. You know, that can be passed down. I don't know about this. I mean, the Gillettes, which are made of brass, will do that. And the build quality in this is, seems to be similar to some of the vintage Gillettes. So this could go too. Just this go through here. Too dense right here just too dense efficiency is not high enough right. i didn't show this in the thumbnail but we'll, we'll use this and see if there's any kind of overshade that seems fair on this shit all right it's just like i'm rubbing nothing on it I feel a bit of a tingle here and right there where I went over it without any shaving cream. So that's on me, 100%. Now for the Wishy side and Parasso side, I will say as soaps go, both those have their own attributes that work for them when shaving the press, it was a bit how I had it. It's a bit thicker and a bit less slick. And the wow, just right here and right there, just a little bit, a little bit of tingle here, right there, and right here. And right here is where some of my hair grows up and some grows down. So that's more of more on me. Same thing with over here. It's my fault. You know, shave without shaving cream. That's what you get. All right. What are we going for? Florida water. It's back what I was getting at. I think that's what I was getting at. But to back. Yeah. Just like I'm putting water on there. The whole way across. Not a single problem citrus musky woodsy goodness no that doesn't feel weird it probably looks weird too not getting hot nothing that's awesome now uh, all in is gonna be a different experience because it was menthol this is definitely one of my all-time favorite aftershaves but the price is hindered this is what so around six bucks. I think this is like 36 bucks. So, yeah. is that six times the price? That's so good. That's so good. Not really. I wanted something to kind of match the tobacco. Otherwise, I would have done the 4711. It's in the same smell profile fragrance profile as uh, you know it's an eau de cologne with the uh, bergamot citrus wood spice scent and that is particularly odd to have one side to face super cold and the other side not which is a nice draw the tobacco back on that all right third time third time's a charm um the post shave is incredible over here feels a bit dry over here feels nice silky smooth the lather itself we'll pull it out feels oh, and look at all that still all that water still in this knot that's incredible that's absolutely incredible 
so you get a maintained moisture of your lathers throughout the entire thing. It's a creamier, velvety, more velvety type. And it's just beautiful. I'm glad it. And for the Parasso, it's gonna be a bit more of a dense, rich, Now we're not as thick, it does get nice and peaky. Moisture's great, still into the shave. This is what's left. Of course, I only did half a shave per, but this has been more than enough to do. There's two shaves worth of lather here. It's more, less slick, more tacky, dense. And one thing I will say, after using Parasso multiple times, it leaves a residue a film in the sink. I don't know what that's from, but a lot of the Italian cream soaps and more uh, manufactured soaps, I should say, do that. It's not something that only is from Parasso. Our shaving does it. It's one of the worst. clean that up here in a minute. Thank y'all for stopping by. If y'all have any questions about anything that you saw today, uh, leave a comment, leave a question. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, subscribe. And uh, thank y'all for being here. Y'all have a lovely day and I'll talk to y'all soon.